going on ladies and gentlemen my name is Kevin Jackwitz this is the cage review and I made this post because while a lot of my fans on here are kind of understanding of what I was saying there are always gonna be those people who get on YouTube and be like well you don't like everything the way we like it so you apparently you don't like it at all well that's not the case uh, I did a review for I think it's called judgment here I'll look it up uh, judgment and punishment from ginger and I said that I liked it, but I didn't think that it was really true to form. It wasn't anything breakthrough. It wasn't what I think they've done in the past. And, you know, of course, I get these people on here. It's like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. That riff was heavy. It sounded great. Um, and part of it is the fact that she uh, goes a bit reggae with it. And reggae is not my thing. Now, I like Bob Marley, and I can listen to Marley sometimes. I have to be in the mood for it. But reggae, as a rule, is not what I go to directly. And it doesn't mean that it's even a bad song. And I've said as much. I actually like the song. It's just not as good as even most of their catalog, in my opinion. Now, that is my opinion. But I'm going to back that up. And I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with Ginger. First playing Judgment and Punishment. And then I'm going to play I Speak Astronomy. And then I'm going to talk about it a little bit afterwards. So here, we're, let's jump into Judgment and Punishment, and we'll watch these two, and I'll kind of point out what I'm talking about. And people, like I said, this does not mean that I don't like this song or that it's terrible. I think it's uh, choreographed very well. I think the composition's good. Uh, I am not a fan of the reggae bits, but that's just a personal flavor. Um... But it's not like I'm dogging the sound out. Now the video, we'll get into that. So it starts out heavy. I really like that bass lick. Okay, drops down. We came from Calm. the lands. Okay. Here's the tap. Very hard. As far as the drum goes, even the guitar is not really that good. Either. Now you're getting a little bit. about what's happening right now. Nothing in this video really adds to the song. In fact, I think it distracts from the song heavily. I'm not a fan of the video at all. I understand it's supposed to be caricature, a little funny. I understand, you know, they're dealing with Russian folklore here doesn't fit, in my opinion. I like the guitar work, and I like, well, really the drums and the bass here. Um, it is pretty cool right there. I like when they get that heavier bit. And I've come to expect at least one, at least minor thrash moment in every song they do, man. So, Good at it. Now that right there I like. And if you had to scream and it goes into that heavy fucking rhythm. Good shit. I like that. Don't 
And that kind of cheese in the video takes everything and just takes it out of it. It really does, in my opinion. And the end of the song, of course. Where she screws up and drinks the wrong potion and winds up in the cabinet with everybody else. Anybody home? Okay, so again, overall, it's a good song, not a great song in my opinion. Um, and the reason I say that is partially the earlier composition. And when you compare it to the rest of their library, it's just, <laughs> look man, um, I've been playing music for a long time and hearing some of the stuff they've done, I think part of part of the criticism I got was that I said that it wasn't really the next step for the band. Well, let's go back and take a look at I Speak Astronomy and we'll see why. Now, before anybody says anything, I don't expect everything to sound like I Speak Astronomy or Pisces. Uh, you have to grow as a band, you have to change your styles, and I appreciate the fact that they change their styles and they add new things. But, Let's compare. Right out the gate. Heavy, intricate, good timing. Great double bass there. Video, it's still low budget, but it's not a distraction. As a matter of fact, I think visually it does add something to what they're doing. That's another important part of it. like the build they have right here. They do this several times in the song. One of those fucking band members was killing it right there. Vlad was going off. Let this binary be blessed. By all the X-rays. Singularities are next. If there is Lord out there. He is just a girl. Sitting in his spaceship. So really, so far, you haven't gone over a minute without a big change. And then you get this. Thank you. 
So this is like your fourth major rhythm game. It's technically sound in a way that the other song just isn't. It showcases her growls and her vocals. Okay, so that's it, brother. Um, what did you have? Six, seven major rhythm changes throughout that song. Very intricate, spot on timing. Uh, you still got the beauty of showcasing the shock value of her amazing growling and screaming. And then at the end of the song, she just belts out with that voice that is ridiculous. When I'm talking about a song like Judgment and Punishment, I'm not saying it's a terrible song, but when you compare it to something like this, in my opinion, it just does not stand up. Even songs like Pisces, I felt like there was such a drastic change and both uh, rhythms were so damn good in their own right, but you had that automatic shock value if you've never heard Pisces before, um, or Ginger for that matter, when she goes from singing that really beautiful melodic tone to just screaming and belching out, there is a shock value to it. I know because that was my first experience in Ginger. So, this hopefully will end the argument. Or, you know, everybody getting on there and being like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. No, I really do know what I'm talking about. When I first came into Ginger, this is what I saw. And, um... Even with songs like Who's Gonna Be The One, uh, if you like catch the very, very end of the song, there's a little bit of a kind of like reggae influence in there, you can tell. And I didn't mind that, and I really liked the song. So, I'm not saying that Judgment and Punishment was bad, everybody, but I'm going to stand firm by saying I don't feel like it was a progression for the band. Now, I'm, I'm excited as hell for the rest of the album, and I'm sure it's going to kill. Um, but for that song to be the first song that they, you know, released to the public, it just did not do it for me. And I'm quite positive that there are going to be songs on that album that are going to. 
but I'm looking for that natural progression because honestly, talent they have. We've already established that. These guys, all four of them are amazing. But there's something about sometimes a band comes together and everything just gels just right and they make something bigger than each person's talent. You know, the composition of everything is just phenomenal, which is what this was in I Speak Astronomy. That composition was ridiculous. It was so good. So that's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. I had to defend my piece there. So that's what's going on. Uh, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you understand what I'm saying, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, please do, because it's, you know, I like the back and forth. Just understand people have different opinions. So that's what's going on. Cage Nation, out.